National Nurses Week is here, a time to recognize the healthcare heroes and all they do. Oh, I love that we're taking time to do this. They do so much. This morning, we want to introduce you to Omara Obanor, a nurse practitioner at St. Luke's Health Houston and Common Spirit, the second largest nonprofit healthcare system in the country, who is recognizing her as well. Good morning, and thanks for being here. Good morning, Melissa. Thank you for having me. Well, you have a very inspirational story about how you became a nurse. Can you go back to your childhood and tell us what made you decide someday you want to help others? Uh, well, I had an experience, uh, you know, being in a healthcare system where I felt, uh, you know, alone and didn't really understand what was going on. And I had a nurse who took care of me and took the time to explain and, you know, was just so compassionate. And just my experience with her not only being skilled, but being, you know, on my level during that time inspired me to want to do that for others as well. And that's pretty much what sparked that um, passion for me. Now, that passion began in Nigeria. When did you come to the U.S., though, and what was that experience like? Um, yeah, so I moved uh, to the United States, uh, 11th grade of high school, 2008, and uh, it was, you know, initially a, a culture shock being in a different country, um, but I was just so appreciative of the opportunities that uh, I had uh, with the working system and uh, took that to fuel my passion and, you know, all the resources that I could uh, get my hands on, and um, it's been an amazing experience so far, you know, putting your skills into practice and sort of being supported along the way. So um, it, it's been an amazing, amazing transition so far. And it's so intriguing to learn more about that research you mentioned. Tell us more about actually life-saving research that's part of your life's mission now that you're doing through St. Luke's. Yes, so as a, a nurse researcher, you're taking the best evidence-based uh, research and implementing it into clinical practice. And so I was able to do that, uh, focusing on surgical site infection rates, uh, using preventative care with a teach-back method for patients, helping them understand how to care for their incisions after surgery, feeling empowered uh, that they can note any changes or you know any sudden differences in, in the way their wound uh, presented. And so um, it was empowering to see that that decreased surgical side infection rates for us and also in turn decreased readmission rates and uh, brought on you know optimal uh, health outcomes for our patients. Incredible. Now you have your own healing power to a certain <laughs> extent that patients really love and that's your singing. <laughs> Tell us about that and how you incorporate that into what you're doing to help heal patients. Oh, well, you know, it reminds me of an experience I had uh, with a patient a few months ago uh, who was uh, in a very vulnerable state, and uh, she saw a bracelet that I had on, and it had a, a music note uh, attached to it. She asked if I could sing, and uh, coincidentally, she was in a choir, and so I, I sang a song uh, with her, and, you know, she held my hand and sort of whispered to me that that was what she needed in that moment, and I think it speaks to the holistic care that nurses provide. You know, it's not just about the physical, uh, but also spiritual, uh, emotional, that really focusing on that for patients really helps them to get to optimal health. So it's been a, it's been a special gift to share with my patients as well. Oh, I bet. Yes. Music makes such a big difference in healing. And you know we're going to have to put you on the spot. Is there any way we could talk you into a few notes? Because seeing you behind that mic was so touching. Oh, amazing. You want me to go ahead and sing Yes, something? that would be incredible. <laughs> okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a red like me. Wow. I once was lost. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. That is incredible. What a wonderful song. And we and song. didn't even warm up at that. <laughs> now, <laughs> real Thank quick, you. what is the most rewarding thing about being a nurse? 
Uh, I would say, you know, the, the impact that you have on, on your patients and sort of seeing the difference that you're making day in and day out. You hear this from patients how, you know, because of you, they feel heard and they feel like they have an advocate. And uh, actually seeing patients remember things that you teach them about their care. Um, that impact, I would say, uh, with compassionate care is, is very rewarding when you see that uh, in your patients. So yeah. for me, that's a, that's a big standout with being well, a nurse. Amazing. Omar, yes. you are just such a lovely spirit. Thank you for sharing that with us today. And I can certainly Thank see why you. Common Spirit wanted Thank the you. world to know about you. And now we do. So <laughs> thanks for your time from St. Luke's this morning.